Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to do something ooh, quite nice and filling <laughs> bread. I'm going to make a cottage loaf. Before we start, a couple of shout outs. One for Susie Lewis, who's uh, found my channel recently and I think has been binge watching. <laughs> uh, and also to Andrew Cullen, who makes long considered technical comments on some of my videos, which I more or less ignore, but I do appreciate the sentiment, so thank you, mate. Cottage loaf, a weird thing that you don't actually see very often anymore, mainly because, you know, it makes bread that won't fit in a toaster very well. But I was reminded of them the other day at uh, Great British Bake Off. Uh, it was bread week, and they had to make a cottage loaf. And yeah, it doesn't seem to be an easy thing to do, but I'm going to have a go. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Right, ingredients. I've got 450 grams of strong white bread flour, 300 mils, maybe a bit less, of warm water, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of active dried yeast, and 50 grams of butter. The butter needs to be like room temperature, not straight from the fridge. So first thing to do, make up the dough. So we'll chuck in the, the salt and the yeast. And we do that thing where we keep them separate for the nanosecond that uh, this takes to do. Just stir that together and we need to add the butter. Just break it up into little bits and rub it in with your fingertips so it looks a bit like breadcrumbs. Here we go. Crummy mix of flour and butter and salt and yeast. And now we'll add the water. Well, most of the water, not all of it, because we might not need all of that. Just stir that together. Okay bit more water and the rest of the water you can do this in a, a stand mixer with a dough hook if you have such a thing I don't but I do like kneading dough it takes about 10 minutes to get the get the dough right so usual drill roll it Fold it into thirds, turn it, roll it, stretch it, la -li la until you get something that's nice and smooth and elastic. There we go, nice, lovely, lovely dough. And now you want to divide this into two pieces. One is about two thirds and the other is one third. Form it into as neat a ball as you can manage and then flatten it a little bit and try and get that flattening perfectly level otherwise you'll have a wonky loaf nobody wants a wonky cottage loaf okay and stack them up yeah that top one's way too big never mind and then stick your finger in the middle <laughs> some flour on it would be good and you want to get right through and wiggle it it's a bit like a bagel at this point and and then you want to do some deep slashes in it. And normally you wouldn't do this with the first prove, but a peculiarity of the cottage loaf is it only gets proved once. So this is actually the finished thing. A very strange looking thing it is too. Yeah, quite like that. So I've got a baking sheet with some baking paper on it. I'm just going to pop my loaf on there and get some plastic film and just, oops, a little bit of oil, not that much, <laughs> and pop that on the top loosely. Now that needs to go in a warm place for, well, at least an hour until it's doubled in size. Right, time's up, so let's uh, get the dough out of the warm place. <laughs> and this... Ladies and gentlemen, is what we in Yorkshire call a flipping disaster. Possibly even a chuffing disaster. But I'm going to bake it anyway, because we need bread. Need bread! <laughs> um, and uh, I'll remake it later, possibly tomorrow. <sighs> right, here we are. It's actually, you know, it's not a bad loaf as loaves go. But it's not a proper cottage loaf. Um... Sounds nicely baked and smells fantastic. So 
Yeah, we'll eat that. I think there was possibly too much liquid in in the dough, and uh, the, the the top ball was too big, so it's weighed down on the bottom one. So uh, yeah, uh, slight disaster, but we'll try again because we do. <coughs> A new day has dawned, and here we are with some fresh dough. Now I made this with 250 ml of water instead of 300 so let's sort it out uh, I'm going to weigh it this time because you know we need this accurate that's 735 grams <coughs> okay calculator divide 750 by 3 the answer is 250 yeah it was the wrong question but um <laughs> okay so yeah. Okay. So if I've got the bottom bit, that's five hundred. Okay. And the top bit as what is left. So let's form these into nice balls, as it were. Oh, isn't that cute? Like a little snowman. And Stick your finger in it. Yeah, baby. Slash those edges. This dough actually feels really dry now, so... Uh, we'll see. Right. Cover that with oiled plastic film. Let it rise till it's doubled in size. Right, here's my little cottage loaf. He's... Uh, well, you know, not collapsed entirely. Not sure it's risen that much. Anyway, uh, we need to, well, first of all, get the oven preheating to 200 degrees Celsius if it's a fan oven, or 220 if it ain't, and uh, beat the hell out of an egg to glaze it with. Not the oven, the bread. Okay, and just uh, paint away. Try not to squish the dough as you glaze it. And I didn't glaze the one I baked yesterday, and that was that was nice. But this will be nice and shiny. Everybody likes shiny. Okay, and that needs to go in the oven for between 30 and 40 minutes till we've got a nice golden crust. So I'll give it 30 minutes, then I'll have a look, see how it's getting on. Right. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, sounds hollowish, so that'll that's that'll be that'll be cooked. And um, yeah, pleased with that. I just put that on a, a wire rack, let it cool down, and then we'll do the tasty testy. Right, here it is, our spaceship. Well actually half our spaceship, I've had the bra. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You want some bread? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, have that bit. Mm. Mm, still warm, nom nom. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, that's just not here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. So I'll have some more time to try. You will. Sorry. Mmm. Yeah. Look that crust. I can hear it. <laughs> It's a silly thing. I like it. Mm. Homemade bread. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> and that's that. I hope you enjoyed it. Now please do the usual. Likes, shares, comments, subscriptions, donations, patronage, all that good stuff. Or just some of it. <laughs> and thank you for watching and see you next time.